Opening a theatre with 500 seats to fill is an 18 karat worry. It could make a person ill. Our grace is down the empire. The palladium... Ah, there you are. Come on in. Welcome to dressing room three of the Noel Coward Theatre in St Martin's Lane, which, for the moment, we're going to be calling the new windmill. My name's Ian Bartholomew, and I'm playing a character called Vivian Van Damme in Mrs Henderson Presents, which is the show running here at the moment, and this is my West End office. Ah, it's Julie. She has my wig. Yes, I get hair. I get hair and everything for this show. And here is Viv, and I'm Ian, and when we're together, we are Vivian. See what I did there? So, I'll tell you what, we're going to put Vivian on, and then when I'm in the full Viv, I'll give you a quick shout and we'll go on a little tour of the theatre. All right, see you in a minute. Here he is. Vivian is in the building. Follow me. I'm going to go up and see the boys. Lots of stairs into the theatre here, but the not coward. Loads of them. Keeps us fit. Now then, well, I'll tell you a little little fact you may not know that during the war all the boys and girls slept in the theatre but of course we had to keep them apart otherwise you know what happens when boys and girls get together don't you because they couldn't get through the traffic because london was in a bit of a state the blitz and everything you know what i'm saying right let's say hello to the boys We've got Ian, we've got Andy, we've got Dickie, we've got Sam. Everything all right, boys? Yeah, great, right. right. yeah. 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 good. Good. Carry on with your crosswords. I'll yeah. see you in a minute. Well, all right, Nibs. Come with me, off we go. It's all right, lads, you can get the beers and the cards out again. Yeah! Yay! Yeah. Here we are. We come up a few flights of stairs. We're gonna go and see the girls. Hold on to your hats. Come on, ladies. It's us. Sorry, 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 sorry. Not allowed in here. program from the original windmill review to film and inside I don't know if you can see this it says here fourth on the bill Harry Worth now Harry Worth is a comedian I remember from when I was a kid all the post-war comics or a great deal of them went through the windmill that's where they learned their trade people like Bruce Forsyth, Peter Sellers, Harry Seacombe, Spike Milligan actually Van Damme didn't like him Morgan and Wise they were there for a bit Barry Cryer, who you will all have heard of, who's a very good mate of mine, Van Damme taught him everything he knows. So it's his fault. We're just going to go and see the new Windmill's resident comic, Arthur. Come with me. Mr. Jamie Foreman. Come in, he says. Here he is. Hey, oh, how are boy? you, Mr. Van Damme? Oh, how are you? I'm all right there, Arthur. <laughs> now, this is Arthur, our resident comic. Good At evening. the moment, in the new windmill. Yes. Get, tell us your favourite joke. Go on. Uh, my favourite joke. Uh, well, I've got a new one for you. Go on, I've got a new one for you, VD. It's uh, it goes. Uh, so there I am, halfway up the mountain path. We're coming towards me. It's the most gorgeous girl. Well, it's a very narrow path, very narrow path. Mm. Vertical cliff one side of me, sheer drop the other. Well, I never knew whether to block her passage or toss myself off. <laughs> we'll call you. Thank you very much. Okay. Another room we need to go in. Wardrobe. That's where all the costumes are cleaned kept, looked after. They're the ones we wear in the show and there are a lot of them. Come on me. Hello! Hello, hello, hello. In you come. In you come. Here we are. Here's the wardrobe. Welcome the biggest hello. room in the building. <laughs> here's Ben, here's Holly, and here's Jordan, and here's Joy Hi. hiding around the corner. Uh, now then, how many co costumes do you think you have in this show? Good question. I know we have 150 looks, then we have all the understudy looks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have hundreds of pairs of shoes. Each of the girls has five pairs of shoes. And that's just the dancing girls. Wow. Because <laughs> they've got their taps and pink sparkly New Yorkers. They have their black and um, the taps and New Yorkers. They have their fan shoes. Oh no, so six pairs and their character shoes, their period character shoes. And then you could look after, need to be cleaned, everything needs to be ironed, everything needs to Rubbered, be washed. Yeah. Every day. So you're in here all day, aren't you? Yes. 
Couldn't happen to a nicer crew. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wardrobe. Thank you, Wardrobe. Thank you, Wardrobe. <laughs> now, this brings us to the wig room. Very important room, this. Follow me. Come in. Here they are. Here is the wig department. Come on in. Something's very, very funny, obviously. <laughs> we have two leaves, head of wigs. We have Ellis and we have Anthony. Hey. And we've got Victoria having her wig done in as we speak. Now, right, we've got 26 people in this show. How many wigs are there? 48. 48 wigs, ladies and gentlemen. And you have to do these, reset them, get them properly ready for the show every day. Sometimes two shows a day. Good work. Thank you very much for letting us visit. We'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye. See, and this is a wig. <laughs> Here we are, stage level. This is the business end. The temple of Thespis, the Shakespearean Shangri-La, the crucible of creation. We've got all the sound equipment stuff here. We've got half the band in that dressing room because they can't fit in the pit because it's too small. Right, come through here. Onto the stage. Here we are. All the set, all the props. Quite a lot of the costumes are all kept around here. As you can see, it's all kept at the back because there simply isn't enough room for it in the wings. They're quite small. But eventually, for the show, it all comes out here. And here we are. This is the stage. This is the magic box. This is where it happens. You know, 40 years ago, when I started this job, I'd have eaten your arm off if you said I was playing a lead in a West End show. And here I am, 40 years later, playing a lead in a West End show and loving it. Look at this. How could you not? This is where it all happens. The magic. And it is magic. So I'm going to leave you with a sight of that. The non coward theatre here in St Martin's Lane. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? All of us